As a recent college graduate, I can tell you that the last three years have been extremely challenging eating nutritionally within my budget. Grocery shopping makes up a large part of our lives in terms of both time and money, but I'm here to help you save both. Hi, I'm Chef William McBride, and today I'd like to share with you some tips and tricks that make your experience here at the grocery store affordable, nutritious, and much more enjoyable. Probably the most important thing to remember about saving both time and money happens before you even get to the market. By taking just a few minutes to browse the circulars and to clip coupons, you can make a big difference. Think about coupons like you would free money and don't forget your shopping list. You're much less likely to buy impulsively or forget items. Try to limit your shopping trips to only once a week and once you're here, get in and out as quickly as possible. Shopping for produce at a good price and keeping it fresh can be challenging. So how do you maximize your dollar when buying produce? The trick to getting the most out of your fruits and vegetables is to buy them as fresh as possible. Look for produce that are firm, ripe, and free of mold and bruises. You might also want to ask one of the employees what day of the week they restock their produce section, as this will ensure that you are getting the freshest. Let's not forget about the discounted produce. Items in this section are still good as long as you plan to eat them sooner than later. Fresh produce bought out of season can be quite expensive and not of the best quality. In fact, buying frozen fruits and vegetables when they're out of season can be much more affordable and nutritious. Frozen fruits and vegetables are picked at the peak of ripeness and processed right away, locking in all vitamins and minerals. What about canned? Well, be careful to choose fruits that are in their natural juices rather than heavy syrups, and choose vegetables that have low or no sodium added. Meats can be a great complement to our diets. But if we think of them as side dishes rather than the main part in our meal, we can save money and make more room for vegetables. One of the tricks to save money in this section is to buy meats that are not pre-cut, deboned, or pre-seasoned. Like this whole chicken. By taking a few minutes at home to cut and season our own meats, we can cut down on costs. Also, buy the choice grade rather than the prime grade to save some money. Let's go check out the breads at the bakery section next. Spend a little bit extra here. Whole grains can be more pricey, but retain nutrients that the more processed grains do not. I'd like to point out all of these sweet pastries, pies, and cookies. I know these are tempting, but don't get them. They're expensive, don't last long, and are not good for you. Let's go take a visit to the dairy section next. When purchasing milk, check around several stores and make a mental note where you find it at the best price. Did you know that you can freeze milk? Just leave some space at the top to prevent the container from exploding. This will extend the life of milk possibly up to three months. Remember that dairy products should be one of the last things that you pick up in the market, along with other refrigerated items, so that you can ensure everything that needs to stay cold does.